Okay. Well, first thing that was done was to replace all the power supply caps. Okay. And let's and get in here and take unit, a look. There's three. You've got two capacitors that are four section, 20 microfarad. Mm -hmm. This cap originally was a two section low voltage electrolytic which we cannot source anymore so we have a single single section can cap as the second cap and the first cap is mounted underneath okay. so it comes from the choke from the tra transformer to the first cap into the choke and then out of the choke to the second cap so that doesn't affect the grounding uh, the rear capacitor has four sections mm -hmm. and because we're setting this unit up for playback only operation that meant two of the sections of the capacitor were not used mm -hmm. so I've pulled those wires off and heat shrunk them together so they're still available for future okay. tied the two capacitor sections together that were now unused and jumpered that to this terminal Mm -hmm. So we can just increase the capacitance. It seemed kind of a waste to spend 40 bucks on a cap and then not u only use half of it. Got it. The uh, filament supplies were the uh, the 12 volt supply that did the uh, the signal new vistas mm -hmm. was too high. I see. One we had pulled some tubes out. We don't have. We're only having one output module. Yep. And I took out the pair of triodes that were being used for the record amp also. Got it. What that requires is a 2 ohm dropping resistor straight off the rectifier diodes for the heater supply. Mm -hmm. So that's what there's there's an extra terminal strip tacked on the side here. Okay. So it comes from the rectifiers through the dropping resistor, mm -hmm. then into this wire which goes to the first capacitor. The heavier yellow is the... Um, heater supply choke mm -hmm. which returns in the green sheathed wire to the original location for the second capacitor. That gets our heater supply in you know the proper operating range. Mm -hmm. the capacitor up here was replaced with a modern 5 mic Lightning. with uh, had to use uh, some uh, vinyl tubing split to uh, allow the original clip to hold it. Got it. Both units required the uh, inductor in the EQ circuit to be resoldered. There were fractured solder joints on all oh, four I remember connections. That I thought, yeah. Okay. Flip her around. And then going back to power supply caps again, there's a third quad cap up in the front corner here. Uh -huh. This was replaced with a quad. 40 microfarad 350 volt cap. Okay. And uh, let's see what else we have. We replaced one capacitor, the, the first cap in the playback section, mm -hmm. with a modern 100 microfarad electrolytic. Right. And then on the output amplifier module, mm -hmm. I put, because of the fact that they had literally zero bias on the cathode bypass cap. I put in a pair of capacitors okay. with the negative terminals connected to the cathodes of the tubes, mm -hmm. the positive terminals connected together so the caps are back to back, 100K to ground and 1.5 meg to B plus mm -hmm. provides about 16 volts of bias right. to get the capacitors in a better operating point. Mm -hmm. The other mod to the output amplifier is Reducing the uh, cathode resistors to 220 ohms okay. and adding a 200 ohm pot connected to ground so that you can uh, adjust the output balance. Uh -huh. That was good for at 25 hertz changing the distortion from about 2.5% to 0.2% mm -hmm. being able to balance the output stage. Okay. Well, let's go into... Part two if we need to because I'm running at five minutes here.